hot dog cutter. Now why would you need to cut the, oh, it makes them spiral and fancy. That's kind of a, kind of a neat, uh, neat set, but that would take up a lot of room on a table, but great for taco night. All right, Goodwill number two. Let's go in and see what we can find. Look at this platter with the gargoyles around it and the Eiffel Tower in the middle. I'm going to see who makes that. I am out shopping on a very, very rainy day here in San Diego. I'm actually in La Mesa. La Mesa is where I'm at. And I have just found a Goodwill. So I gotta figure out this parking meter thing because we don't have parking meters in Vegas. So I, I gotta figure that out in the rain. And then we're gonna get inside and see what we can find. Hopefully treasures. Let's get shop done. All right, let's go see what the situation is with a lucky cart. All right, they got lots of Christmas displayed up front. Oops, I ran next door and I got some hot tea because I'm kind of freezing right now. Look at these little sailboat ornaments. <gasps> All six pieces for $5.99. Makes them like a buck a piece. Those are really cute. And he's really cute too. But I am going to leave those. Set my sights a little bit higher now. Because I have to remember there's only so much room in the car to get everything home to. And I definitely don't want to have to leave any Christmas stuff behind. These guys are cute. They're paper mache. $5.99. They're kind of calling to me. Uh, it looks like they would have had like a little book in their hand, but that is pretty easily replaced, so I'm gonna grab those. Oh, it's a pretty little set, but they're newer. You can tell they're newer. They don't have like a name or anything on the cups anyway. They just say decorative piece only, not for food use. What? Wait a minute. They're teacups. How can that even be? I got a little tiki dude here. He's resin though, not wood. If he was wood, I might have picked him up. What is this? Little, uh, like a lucky coin tree. It's kind of cool. But it is $10. Oh, look at these guys. Figure out fun hinge jar. And then you've got the soap dish. These are all brand spanking new. Oh, it's Boston Warehouse. So he's $3.99. And he's $3.99. And he's $4.99. I mean, they're not the highest of quality or anything. Oh, this is where I have to make decisions. I have to make wise decisions. I think I'm going to leave those. I am. I think I'm going to leave them. Just because, I mean, you can, you can go to Target or Walmart or something and, and get that kind of thing. I'm really trying to upscale my brain on what I am picking up now. It's a process, it's a process. I know Tiffany of Thrifting Vegas uses these a lot to put <clears throat> all kinds of things in for the holiday season. Oh, that's a candle holder. There. Let's see. I just know there's going to be something good here. I can just feel it. Like maybe it's like a, a Tigger Cup. It's $3.99. See, I can get behind Tigger. Anything Disney. I do specialty sales over on Whatnot. And Disney is one of the things that I sell a lot of over there. So for $3.99, I will pick him up. What's up here? Little dream catcher. Little luster cup, and this is a little music box, but there's something looks broken at the bottom. 
This is a very, very boutique-y feeling Goodwill. I like, I like the boutique feel. I'm hoping that means I'm going to find some like more boutique-y type items. Those are really nice coffee mugs. I feel like, I feel like Jordan might like those coffee mugs. This is from Kohl's. Just a basic candle holder, it says. That's a whole set. Look at that candle, the ribbon candle. Wow, I remember when those were just super, super popular. You never want to burn them though, that's the thing. Does anybody burn them? Did anybody ever burn one of those candles? This is Mikasa in the Cheers pattern. We're selling six of them for $10. It's a really good price, but because I'm traveling, I'm not gonna pick those up. I find those at other times. Oh, but look at that. Oh goodness. Is he a warmer? He is, he's a wax warmer turtle. Now I won't use him for that, as you know. Mia, look under, oh, you're all tangled up, buddy. He's only $5.99. He's from the Yankee Candle Company. I don't know, maybe I'll sell him. Maybe, maybe, maybe I will. I, I, but I'm gonna pick him up nonetheless. Oh, you know how I love my chicken wire primitive basket stuff. Look at this, it's big. Oh, I just noticed it's all broken on the bottom over there. Darn it, darn it, darn it. I was gonna get that, but nope, no can do. Oh, pretty little ballerina lamp. Lots of very modern, very contemporary stuff here. $7.99 on a little silver plate swan. We've got a birdhouse. Eh, it's not exciting though. And then lots of men's shoes. Moscow mule mugs. That's a cute little. Oh, it's heavy, heavy duty. Four ninety nine. I like that. I'm grabbing that. Let's see what this is under here. I just see Swedish. Oh, it's one of the um, cookie presses. A cookie press makes fun little sugar cookies. Hot dog cutter. Now, why would you need to cut the... Oh, it makes them spiral and fancy. Ooh, and then you could like stuff them with cheese and things. I think I'm going to get that and have some fun with that. It's a Tupperware pickle keeper. Now, these aren't high, high dollar items, but they're super fun and bring back lots of memories. So for $3.99, we're going to grab that. Got a little rattan container here. It's kind of nice. $3.99. A little more than I want to spend on it. <laughs> Somebody put little uh, eyes on that piece. A little stoneware. It is signed. W-A-M. Just look like more of a student piece. washroom. Loads of fun. All right, that's kind of fun. That's kind of fun. Let's see what's over on this side. What is that? What is that for? I'm not exactly sure, but it looks like it goes like in a window. Is it like a, is it like a cat? hang out in the window? I don't know. It could be. Let's see what we got over here. Oh, pretty little, sh oh, $5 each though. Yikes. No, I would have picked those up for like, maybe even like $1.99 a piece, but not for five bucks each. This is an interesting blue green drip glaze. Very, but see, and then this is only 3 dollars 
but I, I'm not going to complain because I kind of dig this. And so uh, this one is going in the cart. The thing about thrift stores is it's the perception of the person who is doing the pricing as to what the value is. Look at this in the wood base to it. Is it a contemporary? I think it is. I don't think it's one of the older ones. Or it could be. It could be. Let me see. Let's look on the bottom of the bowl here. Not marked. Not marked. That's kind of a kind of a neat uh, neat set, but that would take up a lot of room on a table. But great for taco night. Witch's brew. Ray Dunn. I think a lot of these are sold at like TJ Maxx and such now. So they don't hold a lot of value. Got a little purple glass piece back here. Is it maybe like a diffuser? You put the little, you put the fragrance, like one of those oil lamp kind of things. It's not old, I know that. It's $5 kind of don't want to pay five dollars for it. I'm, I'm a little bit cheap on that today. That's a contemporary new piece. I did like the color though. I'm not against contemporary new pieces, you know, all the time. It's just got to have the value on the resale market. So it's got to be a higher end contemporary piece. Let's see what these little guys are. Doggies. Four pieces for 10 bucks. Those are really sweet. Look at those doggies. Makes them 250 a piece though, and that's just a little bit too much. But I have already bought and sold one of these Opal House face bases. This one is $2.99, so that is a good pickup. Cute little art pottery basket. It's got a little cactus in it. This is blue onion, I do believe. Wolf bark top paw. I work hard so my dog can have a better life. <laughs> That's about it. $2.99. See if there's anything exciting under here. Don't see anything. Cute little donkey. These are interesting little glasses with the purple. There's two of them. Intriguing. Only because they're purple, but they don't have a real vintage feel to me. So I am going to leave them behind. Ooh, what kind of fake fruit we have? Oh, you know, it's cheese. It's fake cheese. It's not priced that fake cheese. I really don't need fake cheese. This is some of the older fruit. It's just got a different feel than the newer stuff that they make now. Some of this can do quite well, quite well. Gotta look everywhere in this little store. More stuff in the windows here. Cubbies. I do like shopping the cubbies. That's why I'm putting so many cubbies in my new store. I just really like how you can divide it out for the eyes. It's interesting. I think I have about gotten my fill. I found a few pieces of clothes for myself. Um, but other than that, I think I am done. I'm gonna go check out. Stay tuned for the recap. Actually, I may go to another store. I may attach another store because I don't think I got very much footage at this store. So hold off on that recap. I will uh, recap after the next store. For now, I'm gonna check out and head out of here. Well, at least the rain has slowed down, but I just got off the phone with Jordan and 
apparently there are flood warnings and watches all along the west coast. So she's like, be careful getting home. Look at it. Look at me. I'm like a drowned rat. <laughs> That's okay. I'm having fun. That's all that matters. Okay. On to the next store. All right. Goodwill number two. Let's go in and see what we can find. And there's our lucky cart. Oh, I see a little. Oh no, he's very cheaply made. Very cheaply made. such different stuff than we have at home. Let's see on these shelves here. Oh, look at all these little chocolate bunnies. What are you guys? Two piece, two ninety nine. So I guess. Oh, don't fall, bunny. Each pair of bunnies is two ninety nine. I kind of like them, but I don't love them. Not, not totally, totally loving them. So I'm going to leave them. Hmm. Wow. I don't usually strike out this much. All right, that's a somewhat interesting piece. Definitely a student piece, though. Nothing too exciting. Little pumpkin salt and peppers, but they are four dollars. These are kind of pretty. Let's see who makes you. They are signed, but each piece four ninety nine, four ninety nine, two ninety nine, two ninety nine. And I would want the set, and that makes it a little too pricey. Look at this apple. That's adorable. You're made by Yomi Max something. I don't know. <gasps> You're a turtle. Why do you have like a compartment? The Bear Factory 2001. You're a vintage turtle. I wonder what you have a little. Why do you have a pouch? in your shell. Did you talk at one time or are you supposed to hold something? Yeah, this was like for a battery pack. So that means he's not complete. All right. Let me sit there and look cute. This little winking Santa is kind of cute. Oh, he's a Department 56. He's got some crazing going though, which is concerning to me for resale value. If he was vintage, it would be one thing, but he's not. So that crazing actually is like damage. So we gotta leave Santa. And look for something else. Ornaments and baggies. Nothing too exciting though. Uh, believe it or not, I find this somewhat exciting. This is vintage kitschy holly. I wonder how much it is. I mean, did they even price it or was it here for decoration? Because <laughs> I kind of want it. All right, I gotta put that in the cart because that. That I find somewhat exciting. Look at these guys. 
this big horn, silver horn decorative pieces. They were probably super expensive when they were new. Like a world market kind of a thing. I'm I'm tempted by those. I am tempted by those. Let's see how much my brain messes with me on them if I don't put them in the cart. That's a newer piece. This looks like a little Lusterware Japan piece. It's not bad, $4.99 for the two pieces, but the flowers, it's really, really worn. <gasps> she just moved that over here. These are recycled glass pieces, little candle holders, $2 each. You know what? Because they are that color, I'm gonna get those. Let's see our little fake plants back here. We're pretty good on fake plants right now. Look at this platter with the gargoyles around it and the Eiffel Tower in the middle. I'm gonna see who makes that. Let's see. Oh, you are Mikasa. Who to thunk? Parisian scenes. I had to read it upside down. Wow. That's quite interesting. Albeit huge and uh, not something I would want to ship. So I think I'm going to leave it, but it is cool. Let's see who makes you. I don't think it's, yeah, it's pre. It just didn't have the quality to be a Le Creuset. But it had the look. Oh, goodness. Let's see what's in these little baggies. Little napkin rings. This is a cool piece. Kind of a 3D kind of thing with these flying birds. It's $4.99. I like it. Little ornaments and boxes. I'm always looking for the birds, the Hallmark birds. She's kind of fancy, but she's not even signed. Oh, more little leaf dishes. Three for $2.99. Oh, Chipped, chipped, newer glass. Let's see what's around this corner here. Oh, there's another quail. His little, whatever you call that, little tuft that they have there. It's pretty damaged, poor little guy. One, two, three. It's so simple, yet I love it. What would I put in it? I don't know. Ooh, that is a blue onion teapot. Yep, it does say made in Japan. It's $7.99 though. Ugh, I just don't know enough about the value on these or how quickly they sell to buy that. But I see this beautiful piece down here. Oh. I love this. $7.99. This is my style of decorating in my home, so I, I might be tempted to keep this one, but for $7.99, I'm picking that up. I have to get a little something for a daisy. Does it squeak? Does it squeak somewhere? It's got a squeak. It's got a squeak somewhere. I'll find the squeak. They have a lot of clear glass, but mixed up here is a Seagram 7. Pretty heavy duty pitcher. It's kind of cool. That might be a good eBay item. I might look that one up. See how well that brand is doing. See if there's anything else. Oh, there's more of the Mikasa 
balloon wine glasses. That's only a set of three though. Two dollars a piece is a good price. You can make some money with them on that. All right, what's on this side? See these ducks way up top here. Ooh, $25 for that duck. Nope, you will have to stay. And then we've got some African sculptures. Oh, it's Harry Potter. Little Russian nesting doll. Oh, that's cute. That's really cute. I think that's made of wood. It's a little music box. I don't see a price. Are you around here? Or no. Are you around here? No. But I might have to find out how much that piece is because it's it's vintage and cool. And those look like Polish pottery. So if I got the case open, I'm gonna look at those as well. Hmm? And maybe those salt and peppers. All right, the Seagram's pitcher is only worth about 10 bucks. I do like these Country Folks by Russ. She's got a broken horn though. I looked at the angels in the case. They wanted $10 for it. I just, I don't think it's worth much more than that. This has a mark on it. That's kind of a cool decorative piece, but again, $10. I can find stuff like that at home. All right, one last little area and then we are gonna go check out and maybe, I think maybe I have time to hit one more store over this way. Wow, I can't even lift that, that is so heavy. It's, it's beautiful, but it is super heavy. Goodness. Yep. I don't think there's much else over here. Okay, I'm gonna go hit the checkout. Now stay tuned for that recap of everything I bought at both stores, how much I paid, and how much it's worth over on eBay. That's coming up right now. That's a wrap for two Goodwills in La Mesa. I'm gonna have to remember that these Goodwills are not very big and gotta really dig to find the treasures. I mean, there was a few things, had they been priced differently, I would have picked up. But, you know, I'm and I'm not complaining. Everybody thinks when I talk about the pricing, I'm complaining. You'll know when I'm complaining, because I, I can do that too. Uh, but no, I mean, they price, how they, they know their market here in this area. And if that's what they can price things at, more power to them. But for me as a reseller, I have to be careful what I pay. You have to be careful what you pay. You do indeed make your money in the buy. So now I'm going to navigate my way back to Jordan's house, hopefully. And hopefully it's not raining too hard, but I'm glad I got my new tires. All right. With that, 
you go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one.